it looks like we have a few more spots in the gate we need to fill right now have a couple open slots right here getting our last few riders situated making sure everything's in order down there second moto of 450b sounds like the revs are up right now underway right now looks like we're Headed for that first turn. Who's it going to be? Already a couple riders down in the middle of the straightaway right now. They work their way around turn number one. Up and over that inside line. Look at this. The riders to the outside trying to get a number right now on that machine. Looks like the, uh, looks like the number 17. Yeah, Wilson Fleming out of Cairo, Georgia. Out front on that Yamaha getting the Bell Hole Shot, Bell Helmet Hole Shot Award. Looks like... Fleming giving up that lead right now. Looks like the Honda machine. I'm not sure if that's the number. Let's see here. 57, I believe. Trying to get a beat on exactly who that is, but able to get up there and take that lead over for Fleming right now. Fleming has another Yamaha right behind him. Working their way into the deep sand right now. These guys coming back out of the rear section of Storyland. Working their way back through this rhythm section. Now, this rhythm section, a lot of different lines leading into it. Got to be on your game right now. You have to be lined up and squared. Fleming trying to make a run at it. Looks like it is maybe the number 97 on that Honda right there. Let's see if that looks right here. Yeah, the number ni 97, Wyatt Fontenoy out of... Uh, Looks like Opelousa, Louisiana, getting a third in moto number one. So Wyatt, uh, I'm sorry, yeah, Wyatt trying to make it happen now with a third in moto number one, leading the way here in moto number two. Fleming still in that second position on that number 17 Yamaha, getting the whole shot, but uh, Wyatt able to put the heat on him, make his way around early there. Getting out in control of this one. Got clear vision and clear track. Making their way around the final left-hander here below the finish line. Coming through timing and scoring for the first time. It is going to be the number 97. Now, a pass being made. Looks like the 44 machine able to get around Wilson. So it is Wyatt Fontenot followed by Nolan Hepner. He's in that 44 Yamaha. William Garrison rides in the third place. While Wilson Fleming, your whole shot uh, winner, has been relegated to the fourth position. Austin Watling rides in the fifth spot right now on the 42 Honda. Christopher uh, Forte in that number six position. Jack Fowler rides in the seventh spot. Colby Morris in eighth. Hunter Braun in the ninth position. And Connor uh, Jardina in the tenth position. So Fontenot out front by about 1.2 seconds. Hebner having a two-second uh, advantage over Garrison. So right now Wilson Fleming trying to get back in the mix in this one. But right now it's Wyatt Fontenot. Working his way back into the center section, into the Ten Commandments right now, getting a good drive. Fontenot riding wide right now, seeing that line work so far throughout the course of the day. Guys going inside, not getting quite as good a drive. Looks like we've got a real battle going on back in that fifth and sixth place. It was uh, Austin Watling in that number five spot. Christopher uh, Fortney wanting that position, so it looks like going to have a challenge right now in that number five position. Riders working their way back into Storyland should be coming back into view, and there they are. Fontenot one more time making his way around on that Honda. The number 44 machine of Hepner still riding in that second position, losing a little bit of ground here on lap number two. So leaders working their way back up and over that big quad jump in the middle of the course in front of the pond. So. Watch what happens right here, folks. Going to have a real battle on our hands when the fifth and sixth places get back into the front of the track right here. These guys fighting it out. They all want inside that top five right now. Got to be in it to win it early in this one and uh, trying to make up positions right now or watching Fleming trying to get back up in it a uh, little bit, getting that hole shot and then falling off a few positions in that first lap. Watching, working his way back through on lap number two. This time around, the gap increasing. The gap this time, 4.65 seconds. So Fontenot picking up almost double on his lead after the first lap. So first time around, about two seconds. This time, 4.65 for Fontenot. <clears throat> Hepner still ahead of Garrison. Fleming still riding in that four spot, but only one second behind him. Christopher Fortney wanting to take that position away. Austin Watling trying to get back up into that top five. Hunter Braun in the seventh spot. Colby Morris rides in eighth. Jack Fowler in the ninth position. Justin Schimminger in the tenth spot. 
lap times right now, a 2.13.6 for Wyatt Fontenot, a 2.17 for Nolan Harper, 2.17 for Garrison, 2.19 for Fleming, 2.19 for Forte. So definitely the fast man on the track right now, Wyatt Fontenot, 2.13.664, the fast lap. Fontenot not having a problem getting it done right now. Battle is on in the Ten Commandments. Boy, those numbers are hard to pick out. With yeah, the absolutely. Now that now stuff's really sticking to those number yeah. plates, which making it hard to identify these guys. I'm pretty sure that's fourth and fifth. Wilson, Fleming, and that's where the battle has been. You oh, are correct. Seriously. Yeah, that's where the battle has it. been. And uh, uh, Wilson, Fleming, and Christi Christopher Forti. That's fourth and fifth. They're in the storyland. It's Fontenot, Hepner, and Garrison are one, two, three. This one, of course, going to be uh, 15 minutes. It's a B-class race, so this one's going to go 15 minutes. And uh, as we take a look outside of our top 10, we'll take a quick look. Looks like Tanner Basso in the 11th spot. Jonah Smith rides in 12th. Dave Fertucci in the number 13 position. Samuel Thurman rides in 14th. Corey Carson in 15th. What have we got going on, Weech? What I miss? 4T went down, lost the front end in the sand turn. So that's the end of that battle. Wilson Fleming is going to be fourth all by himself. So many times we've seen that today, losing that front end in the thick stuff or the slick stuff. So if it gets thick or slick, you got to keep an eye on that front end. So Fleming, our whole shot winner, able to ride there in the fourth uh, position unchallenged right now, going to have some clear vision. As we mentioned, this one's going to go 15 minutes uh, as opposed to 20. So limited time for these guys. Going to get out there and try to make it happen early as Fontenot has done pulled away, went from two seconds to four seconds to seven seconds lead on that third lap. Want to remind everybody, our 51cc races coming up at 6 o'clock tonight, groups A, B, and C. Want to remind everybody, 51cc races coming up at 6 o'clock, A, B, and C. Right now, a 2.15, the last lap for your leader. His best lap, a 2.13. So already starting to come into some lap traffic. Uh, have what happens now, we a lot of these guys, uh, you know, lose some traction in the first lap or so, uh, you know, make a small tip over. But so much harder, as we mentioned, to get going again. And uh, if you're not making any mistakes, you're going to get uh, around those guys quick. So we'll see how Fontenot is able to deal with that, if that's going to help or hinder him. But uh, Hempner, man, that guy, He's had his uh, hands full. Garrison only two seconds behind him, two and a half seconds behind him. And Garrison been trying to find a way around. Now you start to see these guys uh, lose a little balance. These guys are going to start to uh, experience some of these deeper ruts. Now what's happening, these guys are starting to drag some foot pegs, starting to get thrown around a bit. So precision is going to be key as the track starts to tear. We saw the track really come around. Now we're going to see it get a little bit rougher now. Four wide Four wide right now. Somebody going down, though, in the uh, Ten Commandments right there. Guys, oh, a couple riders getting together, exiting the Ten Commandments as well. Looks like the 51 machine of, uh, yeah, that's, uh, let's see here. Holy cow. Yeah, Samuel Thurman getting caught up. He was actually in about the 12th place. I think now he's in the 14th place, it looks like. So uh, getting caught up there. Got to be precise as you're leaving or entering the Ten Commandments and uh, Thurman making a small mistake, costing him some time right there. As they come back around on lap number four this time, Wyatt Fontenot still out front, waiting on our second place rider to come by. Going to see the gap this time. Hempton comes by and this time we've increased it to 8.731. <laughs> so Fontenot just slowly extending that lead right now. Got a systematic ride going on, does Fontenot right now. Very precise, very controlled. Looking like uh, we're in uh, championship preservation mode. Well, he got third in the first moto. And leading here, he could control his own destiny. Your first moto winner, Wilson Fleming, is in fourth. So Wyatt Fontenot might, might be making it happen. Rich Taylor was second in moto one. He is way back, 32nd oh. place right now. Man, bad news for Taylor. And that's, you know, that's the history of the ranch. That, that's what can happen, oh, yeah. and a lot of times does happen down here. And uh, it goes back to just the level of competition and the whole idea behind the program. Got to do it three times in all conditions, and we have definitely stressed 
the all conditions part of that this week. Why Fontenot? Lead is up to 8.7 seconds oh, over Hefner. Oh, man. Down hard. Spit off the high side. I'm going to say right now might have took a handlebar as he went Jeez. over. Jordan, uh, Jonah Smith. Is that Jonah Smith? It was 38. Looked like, yeah, was looked 38 like it Jonah might have been. Smith yep. down. He was trying to get into the top 10, battling with T.J. Albright and Tanner Basso. You see what happened there, Weege? I did. I missed just, it, actually. Just drifted a bit out and got into the deep, soft stuff. Oh, and man, boy. 30 mile an hour to zero right now. Oh, there's nothing worse than the high side. Ask anyone in the uh, road racing world. <laughs> so, tough break for him. Hope he's able to get back up. Like you said, he might have taken a handlebar uh, to the gut just to add injury to injury. Not even insult to injury, injury to injury. No, that was injury on injury. Yeah, yep. that was injury on injury crime. So, watching this battle right now as Fontenot gets away from Hebner, Garrison, Fleming, Austin Watling comes through in fifth. A reminder that we got the uh, autograph signing over there. Oh, here we go. Here's the crash. Oh, stuffed it. Front wheel gets out into that yeah, soft look stop, out. You're and done. there's no saving that, man. Actually, the trouble started before he got out there, but, uh, you know, just dig that front end in too late. You're not going to stop that, not going to save that. No way to throttle out there, <laughs> Weege. No, no throttling out. As we were talking about before. It's tough. These mud races, they push the mud off to the side. You get out there, it's like three feet deep. That'll grab your front wheel in a hurry. This time around, looks like 9.1 is our lead. So steadily increasing, just systematically pulling away right now. Not in leaps and bounds, but when you take a look at the lap time, staying consistently a little better than a half a second a lap faster. So when you're leading, that half a second extends and trans uh, translates into real estate every time you cross the line. Right now, these guys uh, coming up on just about 12 and a half minutes. This one, of course, going to go 15 minutes. 450B Limited, and uh, right now the man out front, Wyatt Fontenot, with a third place in moto number one, looking really good here. Fast lap of a 213. Now, interesting to see, slowed up about five seconds since that first lap, and I have to say, uh, due to some of that traffic and watching some of these corners, I'm going to have to say over the last five laps, some of these corners really changing, and I'm going to have to say all these guys being extra careful right now. Got to keep it on two wheels. Got to finish. You know, they say to win, you know, to finish first, you must first finish. And, uh, you know, case in point here today in these types of conditions. Yeah, you got to be in it to win it. So we had Chad Reed up here in the tower talking about before. His buddy Michael Byrne trying to, Dig it out and maybe go for the title in 25 plus. He's been bit by the mud just like everybody else. Doesn't matter how much experience you have, it's tough in these conditions. But yellow flags waving now, that's going to change this battle. Man, starting to get deep back there, Weege. Roller starting to really, really get augered out a bit, starting to get deep. That is uh, 4T who went down. On that 66 Yamaha, oh, well. he is in six. He's got Jack Fowler right behind him, 6'6 six, six and 8'8, eight, eight, battling it out. That's what we've been watching here on Racer TV. They're into the beach turn as Fontenot keeps pulling away. I'm going to do the same. I'll head down to the podium looking for uh, Nolan Hepner and William Garrison. They're going to try to hold on for top three. Woo. Big swap right there as they make their way back through. Should be taking white flag, I believe, this time around. Should be looking like our last lap, and it is. White flag is out, so 450B coming to a close here. One lap to go. Font not going to be able to maintain the lead, be able to keep that thing on two wheels. Hepner right now trying to keep ahead of Garrison. Garrison wants to get up there and work his way into that second position. Every position counts right now in the championship scene, but Wilson Fleming only sitting a few more seconds back. Fleming trying to get up into that top three position and change the outlook on his championship run. But Fontenot with a third place in moto number one, sitting extremely good going into the final moto of our 450B Limited. So this time around, 8.1 seconds out on the final lap right now. Looks like the number 97 still comfortably in control. Nolan Hepner still in that second position. Garrison riding in the third spot. Wilson Fleming in the fourth. Next race coming up today. Let's see here. 
Looks like our women's 16 plus all-star and our women's plus 14. After that's going to be our 125, 12 to 16 BC. And then we'll have our 250A race. So a lot of action left in this one here. About a half a lap to go. Font not working his way through traffic right now. Last time around a 219.426, a gap of 8.1. So uh, Font not on cruise control right now, trying not to make any mistakes, staying square over that bike, trying to bring this one home without incident. Nolan Hepner trying to do the same thing right now, about 8.1 seconds behind, just trying to stay ahead of Garrison, get a good, clean second place finish, and uh, set him up, set himself up well going into the final moto of 450B. So last lap, leader making his way toward the finish line right now. Checkered flag is flying the number 97 of Wyatt Font not making his way across the finish. So Nolan Hepner making his way down to that final turn right there, working his way back to the finish line area. Nolan Hepner taking the second place finish. It is William Garrison in the third position. So Fontenot, Hepner, and Garrison running one, two, three for the majority of this moto, and that's how they do finish. 7.25 seconds separating Fontenot from Hepner. So uh, just about the same margin throughout the course of that whole moto. Garrison able to just keep Hepner uh, honest with a 1.8 gap, but not able to close the deal. So Fleming finishing in the fourth spot. Christopher Forti in that number five position. Jack Fowler finishing in the sixth spot. Austin Watchering in seventh. Hunter Braun in eighth. Waiting for our ninth place rider to come along right now. It was uh, Tanner Basso, and it still is. Rounding out the top ten. Going to look like, uh, is it the number 28 coming around the corner there? It is Colby Morse rounding out the top ten. Fast lap this time around a 213.664 out of the number 97 for Wyatt Fontenot. Squaring up a few ruts out there, smoothing out just a few things. Going to get the box blade out there before we get our next race underway. Of course, we're going to make our way down to the podium here in just a few minutes. The weed's going to round up Wyatt Fontenot, Nolan Harper, and William Garrison. Going to award some uh, moto medals. Going to get the lowdown on how things went out there and what's starting to develop on the track. Coming up again, as we mentioned, next moto will be our women's 16 plus all star and women's 14 plus. Following them on deck should have our 125 12 to 16 BC and then our 250A. And congratulations, a gold moto medal. Here we'll stand behind the bike. Let's hear it for Wyatt Fondo. Okay, 450B Limited. How stock is it, bro? Works pretty good? Stock as hell. Just straight. <laughs> uh, I know what you mean. Okay, uh, how was the moto for you? It was pretty solid, dude. You were pulling away. I had a, about a third place start, and then I found myself in front, so I just played it smooth, safe, and I had some breathing room, so I knew I kind of had it going. Who do you want to thank, Wyatt? Oh, the Lord above, my trainer, Caleb Bertrand, he, he took me in under his wing. He's, he's the best. And my mom and dad, my little brother, my girlfriend, her dad, her family, everyone. Kevin Gravett uh, for building my motors and everyone else. So th thank you. Good job. Wyatt Fontenot is your winner. Show yo. <laughs> These people are pumped. That's what we like to see. Championship could potentially be his as well, depending how that third moto goes. We'll bring our second place finisher on up. And good run for second place. We'll give him the silver right here. Let's hear it for Nolan here. I'll bring you out front. Nolan Hepner. Good ride. Thanks, man. That's it's pretty slick out there. It's a lot slicker and deeper than I thought. Like before, I was on my Zuma ripping around looking at lines, and it's a lot deeper. It's really soft. On the track or in the pits? <laughs> both, both. What? When? Mostly on the track, though, all right? When, when were you on the Zuma doing this? Uh, like a, probably an hour for the moto. All right. Okay. Well, we won't find any tracks out there. They probably rode right over them. Who do you want to thank? I'd like to thank my mom and dad, uh, my trainer, Dylan, uh, FXR, Nitro Lubricant, Scott. 
my little brother, everybody who's helped me. Let's hear it for Nolan Hepner, second place. Great ride. Yeah, show off the silver. And uh, William Garrison is third, and we got a bronze medal waiting for him. Let's hook him up with a bronze. Come on out front. Woo. Let's hear it for William Garrison. How'd it go? Really good. It's, uh, it's, it's thankful for the hard work paying off now. It's uh, improved a lot this last year, and I'm uh, finally, finally to that step that I've always dreamed of. So I'm just going to move forward and hopefully get to see this side a couple more times this week. So um, Jack's pretty good. And uh, yeah, it's uh, that was. I'm still, still uh, mind boggled on it, but uh, yeah, definitely is uh, definitely is what I've been looking for. So, I love these podium interviews because when these guys are pumped like this, it's great. Who do you want to thank? Uh, first of all, my mom and dad, uh, Lord Jesus Christ, for keeping me safe, and uh, Club Max, uh, Brandon, and Mike. I can't thank them enough. They're like my second family over there, and uh, Thor. Oakley, 60, Dominique over there, appreciate it a lot. And, um, Alpine Star, uh, Brewer Cycles, they're awesome to me, can't thank them enough. Um, Sykra, FMF, uh, Dunlop, everyone just that I forgot. Um, Nick Jackson at BDMX, awesome graphics, head over there. Um, everyone that they forgot, thank you so much. It's uh, Dream come true. What's that? Dream come true, huh? It sure is, thank awesome. you. Let's hear it for him, William Garrison, third place. That's the B class. We got a whole shot award. The whole shot award, come on up. Wilson Fleming, who has a chance at the uh, championship, as a matter of fact. You might remember uh, Wilson getting a good run in Moto 1 and salvaging something in Moto 2. Let's hear it for uh, Wilson Fleming. <laughs> 